The stage is one of the most exciting developments taking place in London today. It's in the heart of a vibrant Shoreditch area. It's a two and a half acre site centered around Shakespeare's Curtain Theatre. The theatre will be displayed in a visitor centre which is going to be available to everybody who wants to come and see it. And we're looking forward to welcoming thousands of visitors a week to see the theatre because Shakespeare is such an interesting part of English heritage. We are just beginning the excavation of one of London's Elizabethan playhouses. It's known as the Curtain Theatre. We've carried out initial trial excavations on the site and we've found some remains that relate to that building and we're now just about to hopefully find some more. The interesting thing about the curtain is that we know very little about it. That's why this chance to have a look at the site of the curtain is going to be very important and quite exciting. In the trial excavations we did back in 2011, we found part of the inner playhouse walls and that would have supported the timber superstructure for the building. We also found part of the gravel yard surface where the audience would have been standing to watch performances of, say, Henry V or Romeo and Juliet. Hopefully, we'll start to be able to uncover a bit more of the backstage areas. That's something we've not really had the chance to look at before. And also to finally actually understand the dimensions of the building and the shape of the building and maybe find evidence of who was using the building in terms of actors and audience. We know that the curtain was used as a playhouse on and off from late 1577 until the late 1620s. There is certainly a Shakespearean connection and it is highly likely that Henry V was first performed there in 1598. To be involved in any development which has a historical edge to it comes with a sense of obligation, but it also comes with a sense of excitement because it's not often that you get involved in something which is unlocking 500 years of English history. The curtain is really named after the plot of land on which it's built. It was a piece of land called Curtain Close, originally owned by Holywell Priory, who dominated Shoreditch in the medieval period. Shoreditch is also famous not only as an early theatrical area, but where a lot of the theatrical community lived. In Shakespeare's time, it was a hub, a very vibrant hub, of actors and writers and literary folk living in the area. What's happening now, of course, with the regeneration of Shoreditch is a new art scene. and We have almost a kind of reverting back to this important artistic area of London. It's very exciting. Shoreditch is a hotbed of activity, from fashion to music to clubs to young up-and-coming businesses in the area and the technology industry. It has an eclectic mix of everything. You only have to walk the streets of Shoreditch today to see the energy and the vibrancy and the buzz, and we're looking forward to tapping into that as part of the stage development. I'm really looking forward to actually seeing the finished visitor centre because I think for people to be able to connect with archaeology that's on their doorstep is really important for communities. But there's so much more to this project than just the uh, ordinary building and office block and uh, uh, apartments. The excavation of the theatre, which is being undertaken by Mola in such an expert way, together with the collaboration with London Borough of Hackney, will really enhance the experience for many thousands of visitors in the years to come.